Graziella TV. I'm your host, Graziella Barada. Well, here we are. It's spring. It may not feel or look like spring everywhere, but it has officially sprung. At the change of a season, there are always some adjustments to make in your lifestyle. Today, we'll cover the top five things you need to do for spring. Okay, so we've all heard the term and use it, but do we do it? Number one is spring cleaning. You want to clean up your living space and get rid of clutter. Bring your spring wardrobe to the forefront of your closet where it's more easily accessible. But don't pack away all of your outerwear just yet. This is the time of year when the weather is fickle and you never know when you'll need to break out the gloves and scarves again. Fashion expert Liana Barada advises, be prepared for the weather with an umbrella, sunglasses, and an extra sweater or cardigan in your tote. And speaking of rearranging your wardrobe, here I've got two of my top seasonal looks for jewelry in a nice little box here that I got at a craft store. I think this is a really great way if you have a lot of custom jewelry or you know, your jewelry is packed away and you can't really see where it is, which is my case. You put it in a box like this for two or three of your major looks and they're easily accessible and arranged. Take a look. Okay, number two, protect yourself from bacteria. At the change of the season, especially with teetering temperatures, it's much easier to get sick. Here are some things you can do to protect yourself. Take vitamin C and D to boost your immune system. If you suspect a cold coming on, take elderberry extract at the onset of symptoms and or oregano extract for infections. And of course, wash your hands frequently. Now, most of you know that I'm not a medicine kind of gal, so if you're wondering what these supplements are, check your local health food store. On top of the germs abound, it's also allergy season, my personal favorite. If you have allergies like me, try taking extra vitamin C, which is a natural antihistamine, and look for some homeopathic remedies at your local health food store to alleviate symptoms without drying you out. It also helps to wear sunglasses and bring a light scarf outdoors in a heavily pollinated area. Cover yourself off. Number three, plan a fresh air outing. It's time to breathe in that not so frigid air and smell those rosebuds. Our bodies are like plants. We need fresh air and sunshine to thrive. So make plans to get the outdoors. Take a walk in your favorite park, have a picnic, check out some carnivals and festivals that are starting to pop up in your local area and check out your local farmer's market. Speaking of which, number four, eat seasonal fruits and vegetables. With warmer weather, you'll want to eat lighter foods, especially those in season. Seasonal foods always taste better too because that means that they're picked right when they grow naturally outdoors. Yeah, where they're supposed to grow. Here are some seasonal fruits and vegetables for spring. Apricots, artichokes, asparagus, Belgian endive, bitter melon, broccoli, butter lettuce, cactus, coyote squash, cherimoya, chives, collard greens, corn, fava beans, fennel, fiddlehead ferns, green beans, honeydew, jackfruit, limes, lychee, mango, mora mushrooms, mustard greens, oranges, pea pods, peas, pineapple, radicchio, ramps, rhubarb, snow peas, sorrel, spinach, spring baby lettuce, strawberries, Swiss chard, Vidalia onions, and watercress. Okay, so now I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to enjoy some seasonal vegetables, and that is with a delicious yogurt dip. So here I've got my favorite 2% Greek yogurt, and I'm going to pour out about a cupful into a bowl. 
So Greek yogurt is really great because it's so rich and creamy. Even the 0% and the 2% fat one. It has tons of protein, a lot more than regular yogurt, and it's very low in carbohydrates. Okay, so I've got a cup there. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon and a half of onion powder. This is going to give the yogurt dip a nice flavor. Just adding some onion powder. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And lastly, I'm going to add some fresh dill, one of my favorite herbs for a dip. So when you dip vegetables in it, they're a lot more tasty than alone. So I'm going to just kind of separate these thicker stems. And as you can see, dill is really, really thin. So you can kind of leave the thicker stems in there and just take out the ends. And I like the fresh one a whole lot better because it's so much more aromatic than the dried one. Great, I'm going to chop this up. So because dill is so small, you don't really need to chop it up too, too much. Great. I'm going to add this to our yogurt dip and give it a stir. Lastly, I'm going to season with some sea salt. This yogurt is excellent to enjoy with some seasonal vegetables like broccoli and fennel. So with the broccoli, I've just washed it and cut it up into little bite-sized pieces. And with the fennel, what you want to do is kind of just break it apart. It's kind of like an onion, so you just have to peel it off. There we go. And I peel off these ends. And you can cut them lengthwise into little bite-sized pieces. And there you have it. Dip it into your yogurt dill dip and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And number five, revisit your New Year's resolutions. Now is a good time to evaluate your progress. Ask yourself, are these goals manageable or do I need to revise them? Am I focused on my goals or do I focus on the task? Remind yourself of why you're on the path you've chosen and reinforce it daily to get closer to your goals. Now is also a good time to make a list of what you want to accomplish in the next three months. Goals are best planned out in three month increments, or in other words, seasonally. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Graziella TV and I'll see you right back here next week. Oh, and don't forget to like our new Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash TV. Ciao! Yeah.